सन इन आवर लाइफ ऑल ऑफ अस हैव कम अक्रॉस डिफरेंट टर्म्स व्हेन वी एक्सपीरियंस दैट वी हैव ओनली सो मेनी क्वेश्चंस इन आवर माइंड एंड देयर इज नॉट इवन स्लाइटेस्ट और रिमोटेस्ट साइड ऑफ एनी आंसर टू देम व्हेन वी वांट टू नो अ लॉट बट कैन इवन आस्क एनीथिंग अबाउट इट प्रॉपर्ली questions like who am i what is this life why there is happiness why there is sorrow why no one is happy with what one has got why even after getting everything people can't even stay joyful why the happiness is just momentary why can't we always stay joyful why bad things happen with good people why good things happen with bad people there are many such questions which trouble us sometimes but instead of letting them do that we should find their answers however already many great and divine people have already provided us with their perfect answers but for some reason or the other we have always ignored and neglected them son if you wish to stay eternally joyful and wish to keep all the negativity away from your life then you must find satisfactory answers of all these questions son i have also experienced these questions in my life but i never ignored them instead i have found their answers and the same will be shared with you here let's focus on your question who am i who am i let's re experience something you must have seen a dead body and you must have seen a scene where the nearest and dearest like father mother and other relatives of the dead person are sitting and crying around the dead body while they are crying you must have noticed they keep repeating some sentences including how good you were why have you left us oh god why didn't you take us instead of our son and likewise the most important question is why have you left us son here the important question is why the relatives are crying and why they are repeatedly complaining that he has left them when the person in question is lying just in front of them if he has really left them then who is the person who is lying in front of them to whom we are referring to as a dead body till recently only they were referring to him as their son and why he is no more their son now then who actually their son is son don't feel confused because i am going to explain it all in very easy way listen to me carefully and try to understand the exact points the person lying in front of them is not actually their son but yes it is his body only for sure the way you are not your clothes however there is some difference between you two means the way you and your clothes are different and separate in the same way you are not your body and you and your body both are different the person lying in front is the body of their son but actually their son has already left it and that's why all are crying and saying that he has gone he has left them it means the difference between their living son and their dead son is actually their original son have you understood the difference between their living son and the dead son is actually their original son the difference between the living body and the dead body is actually the real person or the actual person and that's why when that person leaves the body though the body is lying just in front of the relatives they keep crying they keep mourning and they keep repeating that he has gone he has left them have you understood now who actually son are? actually you are not this body in fact you stay in this body and when you leave this body people say you have gone you have left them and then the body gets rotten some people call you soul some people call you spirit some people call you ghost and etc but we will call you you only 
as long as you is inside the body it is alive and the moment you lose the body it is dead you and your body are two different and separate things as long as you are together you are called alive and when you get separated you are called dead son in one sentence the difference between living you and dead you is the real you is the actual you